Okay, it's time for drawing number two, the latch plate. So what I like to do to start is start with these circles down here and start drawing my lines down across the bottom and then come up and around. And then what I'll do is end up just drawing half of this drawing and mirror the entire drawing from the bottom half, flipping it up onto the top half. I'll have a little bit of trimming left to do to try and get this big radius in place, but shouldn't be that difficult. So let's get started. Come over here. We'll draw a line three and a half inches apart just to separate those two circles. 3.5. These circles right here is a half inch drill, four holes. A drill is a diameter. So I'll put a 0.5 inch diameter there. You can just hit the space bar grab the tool again. Uh, that brought me back to the radius tool, so I'm going to do a 0.25 radius. So now those two are separated apart. I'm going to do a 9 16th radius for this corner down here. Nine slash 16. And now, because I'm locking onto a quadrant, should be locking onto a quadrant. I can draw another three and a half inch line down here and that gets me to this point right there. So I've drawn this, I've drawn this line down here, I'm ready to draw a 15 degree angle. So the 15 degree angle is one and five eighths of an inch away. The line itself is not one and five eighths but the distance away from this point is one and five eighths. So I have a couple options. I'll draw a line from here, come out 1 dash 5 slash 8, and I'm just going to draw a line straight up in the air. So this little segment of a line is as long as I need it, and now I'm going to draw my 15 degree angle. I've said this before that there's a number of different ways to do this. You can either lock it right into 15 degrees, that seems to be one of the easiest ways. You can also use the less than symbol and lock it into 15 degrees that way. So I can only have 15 degrees, click it there, trim my lines. And now I have that 15 degree angle. Now the next up, I'm actually going to skip this line for right now, even though I can figure out what angle it is, but I'm just going to skip it and come the whole distance from the very start point to the very back of this drawing, <clears throat> six and five sixteenths of an inch. So I'm going to come just an arbitrary line up and come back six and five sixteenths, right? Six and five sixteenths. Then I'm going to come back down again. And that's just to show me where this line needs to come up and match onto this line. So I don't have any idea how far up this thing needs to go just yet. This is just to tell me where this line meets up on this part. So now, if you do the math and figure out that this is 135 degrees from here down to here, you can figure out that this is a 45 degree angle going up. All right, this would be like 90 straight up in the air, 90 plus 135, and then that gives you this... Um, angle that it would be going at and then you just figure out that that's 45 degrees going that way. So take my line from the last point that I was at 45 degrees up. Again I'm just lock, locking it on to that angle there. Now I can trim again. I don't need this line down here and I don't need these lines for the moment. Now I know how where this line matches up, but I don't know where the center of this whole drawing is. So that's the next thing I'm going to find out. And I can't really figure it out on this side. So what I have to do is come back over to this side and now look from the center of this circle here, one and a half inches up gets me my center line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save myself some time and just go one and a half up this way, 1.5, straight over this way locks into there, another 
trim just to keep myself looking a little neat and tidy here. <clears throat> now, I know that from the center line, I need to come down, uh, specifically back in this region, I need to come down 13 sixteenths <clears throat> to get to this line. So I'm going to come down 13 sixteenths off of the center line and just draw a line that comes relatively into this area. So I'm just going to draw a line that comes down. It doesn't really matter where it is. 13 sixteenths. Now that gets me this line. And now I'm just going to draw a line that goes extending in both directions. Now I know that this line right here is going to be this line right here. Now, how do I find this corner back here? I'm going to come from the very back of the drawing, 15 sixteenths forward, and then meet up with this corner. Now, this is a rounded corner, but that's going to be where my two lines meet. So I'll come 15 sixteenths forward from the back. Start here, 15 sixteenths. Draw a line straight down. trim these. That corner right there is now this corner right here. Now I have some redundancies here. This extra little line, don't need that anymore. I can actually trim this line as well because I don't need that anymore. So now I know where this line is. My center line is still represented. I'm going to come forward. This is just my corner. I don't know where anything else is. So now I'm going to come forward from the back three and five sixteenths <coughs> to get to this corner right here, this little crosshairs where the radius of this circle meets. And then we also need this center point to get to the radius of this circle because it's the opposite of that. So I'm going to come forward three and five sixteenths. come from this point, 3 and 5 sixteenths. And I'm going to draw a line straight down, and then I'll connect this line right here over to there. So now I have the corner where these circles are going to line up from. So I'll do some trimming again. Don't need that. In fact, I could just delete this whole line because I know that this is the corner that I actually need. And there's an extra line in here. Don't need that. So now I have this back, this part, this over here, to this part, 7 sixteenths of an inch radius. So I'm going to draw a 7 sixteenths inch radius in here. Radius circle 7 sixteen. Now, the other one is a 2 and 1 16th. Now, that's coming from up here, but since this point is the center point of this 2 and 1 16th radius circle, it doesn't tell us that, but because this one's represented over here, we are to assume that that's going to be the same on the top and bottom, because it doesn't tell us any different. So we're going to draw a 2 and 1 16th inch radius circle from here. It's going to be a big circle that goes the whole way out and around this and we'll trim it down a little bit uh, to make it a little bit more neat and tidy. So again, radius circle. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I think that's right. Two and one sixteenth. Okay, now that's seems way too big but we're only going to use a small portion of it, this little portion up here. So all the rest of this stuff is going to go away in a, in a little bit. So now we have a circle here, <coughs> big circle there. The last part of this is that we just need to find this front part, and then we're going to take all this stuff and duplicate it up, mirror it, and get it up onto the top half. So we just need to find these lines out here. Off of the center line, it's 5 eighths of an inch down to this line right here. It doesn't tell us how far into it this way it goes, so we're just going to draw one line and then we're going to have to trim it after we do our mirroring.
So we're going to come off the center line down 5 eighths of an inch. Uh, let me show you a trick. You don't have to, when you're drawing with a line or a line tool, you don't actually have to draw a line. If you just hover over an area, so I don't have anything locked onto this corner right here, if you hover your mouse over it and the green box appears, and then you drag your mouse down, you see that it, that green is extending. If I just type 5 eighths right now, it will extend down to that line. So I didn't actually draw a line right there, I just extended down to it. So at this point I'm just going to draw a line this way, and I'm going to draw my line out this way just to extend it, and I'm going to draw a line from this quadrant straight up to that line, and now I can trim a few things just to make it tidier before we start the process of mirroring. So I don't need this line right now. I don't need that line anymore. <clears throat> I need this corner. I need this big guy. This is my center line, so that's important. So now I think I'm ready to mirror. So I'm going to select everything on the page. I'm going to go up to mirror. It says specify the first point of the mirror line. That's the center line from this point. Specify second point. I'll just come out to this point. It says, do you want to erase the source objects? I click no. And now I have my whole drawing. I just need to do some trimming. So we're going to trim. Start with getting rid of all this big stuff here. And the opposite going this way. a line segment. So now I have some trimming I can do right in here. Trim that, trim this, trim that extra length of line, trim this extra length of line. Get rid of my center line, a couple of them there. That's most of the drawing. Now, there's a tool that I haven't shown you yet, and that is to fillet the corners. Some of you might have think that you can just take this and then draw a circle, <coughs> and you'd have to find exactly the center point of the circle to get that radius in here. But there's a very easy way to do this. I'm going to use the fillet tool. It creates rounded edges. First thing you do when you pick the fillet tool is you have to come down here and tell it what size radius. So you can either click on this or just click R and hit enter. And it says specify the fillet radius. Fillet radius in here is one quarter of an inch. So I'll type 0.25 or one quarter. Now it says select the first object, select the second object, and it magically just makes that nice rounded corner for you. I'll hit the space bar to select that tool again. Select the first object, select the second object, there's your nice little radius. And that's the entire drawing right there. All the lines lined up. Everything looks nice and smooth and straight. Keep in mind that this part of the line right here is further away than this part over here. And if you wanted to double check to make sure that we are the right size, from center here to center here is exactly three. Just like the drawing says, it's exactly three right there.